the focus of a witch hunt after Git Gooders decided to be pathetic little anuses about a comment she made that This is very unbiased report. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like oh, that. Very. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> These pathetic anuses going bias. on a witch hunt. This match is game journalism. Oh, bias. it's this thing? Yes, uh, it is this thing. Everyone has heard of this thing. It's the Dragon Age thing. It is not the same thing. No. Completely no. different. It had been deliberately taken out of context and more or Ooh. less lied about on social media. More Ooh. or less? Is it more or more less? less. less. <laughs> Let I me suppose, know. Uh, hey, Mola, Mola, you want to read that? Elden Ring needs to be easier because I have kids. Oh. Do you think she's? Oh wait, what are you telling me to read? Is that it? Oh, wait, no, no, no. I was on the next. I was on the next. Uh, the next one. I'm um, slightly. Was it swapped ahead. frames. Sometimes Making, the frames yeah, are a little ah, bit. Okay, okay. Is, yeah. All right. Having a kid can be a situational. Oh disability where accessibility <laughs> oh is concerned if you need to pause a game because your kid is running around your living room but you can't you'll have trouble playing games with no pause menu here's a bunch of info about it for anyone who's genuinely interested <laughs> and not just trying to rage bait lol that's so embarrassing man so to steal manner for a moment no. i think the the real culprit don't do it mark <laughs> <laughs> I, no i'm gonna well, because I, I think no jim's I, argument I, I relies on you not doing well, that uh, no, no, uh, but I, I think it might contextualize some things, because I think the, the major culprit here isn't so much her thinking this as it is the entire industry using that term to describe a kid in the room and not, well, not seeing both? that as... I yeah. I mean, I, like got, it is got, both. She's but, responsible uh, for this statement anyway. You slice well, it. Well, I, I know. I, mean, I, just, a situational I think that disability the, is retarded. child. I, I just I think it's important to understand their argument though, because what they'll say we is do. like, yeah, but those are the industry terms, <laughs> Every, and I. The thing, I everyone I, knows I, the I argument. He, describing a yeah. child running around as oh. a disability is not fucking cricket. Her, that is not, yeah. on, her perspective on motherhood hurts my brain. Like the, the, the idea. Not, well, we can what, what I'm saying is the, the problem yeah. is the people who are responsible for all Which of this. Which word? Mother, disability, child, no. temporary. <laughs> the, the, oh, okay. the, 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 mis, the misunderstanding of what is difficulty and what is accessibility, this is the terminology that the people who are actually making that stuff in the games are using. And I think that that is probably the bigger issue. It's that they they don't view things in a way that their definition of disabled is what any normal person hears when they hear the word disabled. Well, I think so. I like, think the, 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 the like I don't even know why that would be because like to me this strikes me as it like if you're in a bubble where people actually say this like you should probably understand that if you go to just any like regular person out in the world and say situational disability to describe just a child existing in the same yeah. way. Which is <laughs> yeah, the that's video fucked game. up. Like, that's she needs to be held responsible for this statement. That's, I'm, I'm surprised okay. the one person with a disability here is defending this crazy <laughs> bitch. I think because the problem is higher level than just her is what I mean. I think that like of the course, issue is of course, the people of course, who are adding, quote. All, I, I, I think uh, we all agree with that. But it's, just, it's better to isolate this specific quote because we're talking about her quote today. Sure. Yes. Maybe other people, yeah, yeah, like yeah, maybe other people say stuff like situational disability, I, and maybe there's even a context where it would be agreeable. But like applying it to just a pause button in a game because mm. like there's a kid running around, it's just I, silly. You can never silly. know how much she's been influenced by I'm that. I'm temporarily this is disabled, so I need a pause button. Like, it. why do you phrase it like that? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, Why not we, just say it would be pretty it cool if I had a pause button so yeah, exactly. I didn't get yeah. fucked over when my kid was exactly. running around. Right. Now we have moved away from the Dragon Age one to pause buttons, which is like, oh, God yeah. Like, this is, such a less, this is such a less interesting conversation to me. Pause buttons in video also, games. Well, most most, most, all multiplayer most games, games do have them, to be, you know. All multiplayer games immediately off the table. You can't pause a multiplayer well, yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. How much well, of this is solved? What do, mean, what do you mean? Why are you saying that mothers with temporary disabilities, such as children, should not be able to temporary enjoy multiplayer games like the rest of us? If, if, Why well, would you if say you that? ever tried a system well, so, where you so, pause the game and it's paused for everybody, the griefing that will happen immediately will be like. Well, so this is. We, 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 I mentioned it earlier, right? But like the idea of, well, it doesn't affect you. So, you know, that's fine. My question would be, well, why why shouldn't accessibility have an, an effect on other people, right? Why is it a moral imperative to ensure that allowing people to access a game 
doesn't have an impact on uh, other people's ability to play the game. Maybe it should be that accessibility should be put above the fairness of the game for everybody. Why is that the line that's drawn? I'd be very curious to hear what Sterling's answer to that would be, genuinely. I would be really curious why the line gets drawn. Why Why does it get drawn? It, it doesn't affect you. Is all Surely of this, at some point um, it would be acceptable that it affects you, right? In the same especially way if it like, changes the landscape of the market well, I mean, and the whole hobby. I guess the example would be like wheelchair accessibility affects a business, right? You you need to spend Absolutely. money to make sure there are places wheelchair accessible, but that's mm-hmm. still something that's that's just something that's required or uh, encouraged. Like that, oh well, you know, you do have to be you know put out a bit essentially to enable people to have access. But like nobody would say that that's a bad thing, right? That the disabled people or you know wheelchair access is available. So at what point should accessibility have an impact on everybody else's experience, and that that's a, a good thing? Would this be solved I mean, if we replace the word disability here with responsibility? And if she said the same, yes. oh. I say having a kid yeah. can be a situational really responsibility, yeah. meaning, of course, that you're always responsible. However, sometimes the kid's just playing on the floor. And it's like, oh, that's totally fine. Or if the kid starts running around, bumping into things, you're like, oh, whoa. whoa, whoa. So like, because the, the, the reason why I think it's super important is it would actually reformat the whole discussion and help everyone mm-hmm. understand where the breach is. Because, yeah, you chose to have a child you are responsible for them. The game is not responsible for you having a child. Like yeah. that, that's crazy. Yeah. In the same the, vein, the way she worded it, if I said, you can't even if I said having a job is a situational disability, I'm playing <laughs> my multiplayer game and then suddenly I've got to go to work. It's like, well, have you, can you yeah. account for that, please? Yeah, you're like, disabled. Uh, <laughs> you know, and, and then like, everything so- in life that could ever require you to do or say or, or go anywhere is it, like that's a disability well, it's, now. It's like saying yeah, that it's, it's, it's a so- situational disability because someone could call you and you got to answer the phone. <laughs> like, it's, it's, yeah, it's. I mean, that's a situation that is also. Yeah, it's so it's how, it's also a situation. How stupid bathroom. can we go? Can we say Having eating food bathroom, and sleeping are now disabilities as well? Yeah, yeah. that's Getting a consciousness run. disability when I'm sleeping. What about getting it's bored? Is that a disability? Yeah. I'm situationally mm-hmm. bored. Yeah. I just want to play. Yeah, that's more. an attention disability. <laughs> <laughs> this game should be grinding <laughs> levels while I sleep because I have to sleep and I'm disabled I, when I'm sleeping. Getting bored is basically ADD. And I think what's what's frustrating to me as well is it's like. To, to argue for a pause button, you said this. Why didn't you just say, sometimes I gotta go take a shit? Sometimes I gotta have a Situational <laughs> fecal <laughs> matter. <laughs> Why would you say, well, yeah, situational disability such as children? I don't understand why you hey, didn't say that. Really, 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 What's at, what's at stake here if we, if we don't have this? Okay, so you die and you're reset back to the grace. That's In a like, game about dying and re- being reset, essentially. Yeah, you're losing very little progress because Elden Ring is hilariously oversaturated with checkpoints. But like, even if we take Ooh. that to not be the case, um, but you're not losing very much. I I don't know. Like, it is an inconvenience, sure, but this is not like an accessibility concern where your ability to interface with the game is at risk or like non-functional due to whatever circumstances you have. Right? This is you are being inconvenienced somewhat, somewhat irregularly. It's not like you're missing out on XP or something. Like some some event is happening. You die. You can just chill there, deal with your kid, and then go back from your same save point. Like this is. Like, I understand it's an inconvenience and you would prefer if it didn't happen, so maybe you want a pause button. I'm totally chill with that. Yeah. Why are we going to this? Why are we calling it a disability? Oh, when you have a guy wheel up yeah. with one arm and one leg missing and an eye missing, and then she <laughs> rolls up with her kid being like, yeah, me too, bud. We're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the re- uh, Especially the re- because... Can you imagine Frank. growing up and like understanding this fucking quote and just like, wow, she actually fucking said that about me? Like, yeah. this kid's gonna grow up and eventually realize what she's done. And I think a big the, element um, of this is that I think a lot of people who have disabilities would not appreciate the idea of calling a child a disability because, yep. quite frankly, you can choose when to have kids. It's no mystery yep. where kids come from. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like they just show up all of a sudden and you didn't ask for this. Like, we you know how kids yeah. come yeah. about. They can <laughs> choose to cut off your arm, why, though. Why it's moving to the pause button one is because the the argument about a pause button being in a game is a lot more defensible than a no-death setting. 
That's the reason why it's moving to that one. Like, it's way easier to argue that there should be pause buttons in video games than, yeah, developers should dedicate time and resources to creating modes where it auto-locks on for you, or you can't die, or it plays the game for you. That's why it's switching to this one. Yeah, setting up a setting up a premise that's harder to disagree with. Like, well, why wouldn't you want a pause button? It's like, well, I guess a pause yeah, button's that's... fine. Okay, cool. So a no death button yeah. is fine too. I say well, as, thing, as, again, as long as it's not a multiplayer that, um, game, you shouldn't have a pause button, to be honest. But yeah. the thing is, it's Ooh, it's the idea that I like agree. you can tie up mm. you, know, you can tie up a pause button and a no death mode in the same accessibility features umbrella rather than taking the no-death one for what it is, which is a difficulty discussion. It is a discussion about difficulty settings in games, not accessibility settings. That's not been yeah. proven that it is a matter of accessibility that you need to make a no-death mode for people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like the misuse of these terms because if it was just like a preference or a quality of life feature, yeah, I'd like a pause mode. There's sometimes things come up in life or I need to pause or whatever. My cat jumps up into something. I, you know, get a phone call. Somebody's at the door. We all disability have little. Jumps on you? Well, yeah, yeah. My situational <laughs> disability that I deal with, but lifelong uh, situational disabilities. But I when just, you use ter when you use terms like uh, representation, um, when you're when like you're arguing against historical accuracy of, of certain peoples in, in different historical settings, for example, or accessibility, that then gets into legal terms. Then you start to get into like HR legal requirements, stuff like that, and that gets frankly very ugly because you're taking what what is like i'd like to see this in this game as a as a feature or a, a you know quality of life thing and then turning it into like a, a a almost like a a legal precedent precedent and saying that like hey this is a not not compliant to our current understanding of you know ada and stuff like that and that gets very ugly when it should have just been a you know what I want a pause function. That's, that's literally could have would have been the entire the entire conversation. But she she describing not only her child as that, which is pretty ugly too, but you know, bring it putting it into like the kind of legal uh, compliance terminology like that. That's where I think a lot of people have the have the the disagreement with that the way that she frames it. I believe she does not have children, and that also is a part of it that bothered a lot of people because it's like wait, she doesn't have children you, you and can, so she are you made... serious well wait you can take she that both ways you can you can be like well why is she even talking on this she never get it? or you can be like oh that's that's kind of her to argue in favor of things that she's not even applied by you know you, you i don't think that necessarily adds or takes away from this statement from her i think it makes it more funny but... it, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah it definitely adds humor to it she's even have a kid it, it puts, and has a stupid stance it, i think you could definitely go the direction the she situation. refers to children as situational disability maybe she had one she yeah. wouldn't do that <laughs> yeah. Maybe you could go that direction. I don't. I, I, don't I certainly don't think my mother would consider having kids as a disability. No, I don't. I don't think it's normal to think that. That's just that's not that's the labeling weird. anyone uses. That's that's just not right at all. No. Um, I understand it's a burden of of of, t but like responsibility is the word, not disability. Like how do her friends have kids with a private disability, but you know. You know, like how the friends around her that have kids, how do they feel about this statement? Like, what the fuck? I, I, mean, I think everybody in her immediate spheres would be happy to be like, she's, uh, yeah, she's on point. She's right. I'll talk. You probably it. even just call yeah. them distractions. Like, I don't think anyone would have had a problem with that. Also, she's a Lana Pierce. Everybody you... in her circles would come out to defend her, even if she said something batshit crazy. Probably. <laughs> well, they did. Why? Because yeah. she's hot. I think is she could it? go crazier than this. <laughs> like this, this yeah, is true. Uh, true. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah true. well, I, I think she's actually one of the more level-headed of the gaming journalism sphere. There's a lot of people that are are far more extreme on this kind of stuff. Sure, but most of them are some type of insane. So <laughs> I'm so happy I don't I mean, know yeah, any so... names in that sphere. Well, I guess I do know one now. But... <laughs> yeah, look what you've done. Your life is enriched for you. Yeah, also, hi, yeah, little you're bit missing, no welcome. Reason, but... <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, we're talking it's about how games are shit. Yeah, we're talking I, about I how games are I thought you were talking stuck. about disabilities, so I figured I'd, I'd jump on. My mum definitely does consider me a disability. It's, it's her <laughs> birthday at the moment, which is why I'm late. But like the last which time we went out for a drink for her birthday, she cackled and told me I was a complete accident, and then she was just <laughs> completely blown away with how funny she was. It's great. Uh, happy little accident, yeah. right? Happy little ha disability. Well, happy, happy. That depends happy on happy little argument, temporary disability. Sometimes <laughs> happy accident. Um, I am a temporary disability, or a permanent mm -hmm. disability, even. Yeah. Same. Benzu dies first. Really beautiful. It'll be her. 
<laughs> I'll make sure of it. A pause button. Really, this is like... really this is a podcast about family. <laughs> That's what's so powerful about it. No. Gilden Ring, Alana used the concept of parenthood to help non-disabled people relate to disability and understand how- What? Mm. What? We can't yeah, relate to disability do. unless we have children? That's... What? Oh my god. <laughs> Just fucking put oh one arm god. behind your back. There you go. Now you- <laughs> That's no, a better simulation than having <laughs> children? Close one eye, you moron. Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you models, talking about? <laughs> I, like, like you know the thing oh. where you like hold one leg with your arm and you sort of hop. Like that, that's already more than mm -hmm. having a child represents disability. What? <laughs> I can't demand it was. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Members. Jeez. Prohibitive it can be to play an unpausable game. If you believe the Get Gooders, however, what Alana did Yo, was we're demand Jeremy Irons. Ring Beans. The Get Good. It's not even. That's. It's just a whole oh, other. Prism of discussion. We're not saying get said. good because you have a kid. Yeah. Like, people <laughs> say that as a joke. Oh, you have a kid? Well, get good. <laughs> that, that parenting and just accept the death. But also, like, who cares? You die and, once and in Elden Ring. It's fine. Get good. Pausing. That's not get good. <laughs> I know. It doesn't even apply here. Yeah, people like you're sitting at a. Very... Nothing's happening in the game. You, you're like, I'd like to be able to pause. It's like, well, get good. You're just sitting there like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gogur, stop, making fun of, uh, that... stop making fun of Alita Battle Angel, okay? <laughs> what even movie like, is this from? Uh, that's Twilight, isn't it? <laughs> oh god, yeah, that's the Twilight baby, is it? Yeah. Oh, is this the Twilight? Is this a Twilight oh, baby? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can someone explain the child? What the baby looks like. Yeah, I'm saying can someone explain the baby? What a complete uh, child. Uh, I remember the memes about that. We need to do an EFAP arc for Twilight at some point. Oh yes, that would be fun. Be That's made terrifying. easier. And the world. Said, Show the world time. dude, I think, immediately falls in love with him. <laughs> <laughs> it's really <fun> <laughs> because having kids is a disability. I don't know, maybe the gamers TM are right, and my reading of her words Back is wrong. Then. Let's look at what she actually said, right. while also understanding and acknowledging mm -hmm. that it's part of an entire half-hour video. This is the kind of thing you'd offer everyone you cover, right? <laughs> Just oh, yeah. <laughs> Or the game was TM yeah. get this now anytime. let's find out their real context and steal man what's being said and see what the most reasonable interpretation of her words is it's mine it's mine reasonable. the most reasonable interpretation is mine not theirs mine there are long term disabilities there are situational disabilities okay we need to look at this we need to look at this chart okay one by one this is hilarious <laughs> to me <laughs> look right, so we got our chart here. permanent disability in terms of touching is one arm Okay. A temporary one is an arm injury. A yeah. situational one is a woman holding a baby. <laughs> no. 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 A new parent. New parent. You added that You added that Situational disability. Oh, no. You're not the driver, the driver of our gender. I want to take out the C category oh in my court. God. I, like the C category is disabled. Cataract and distracted driver. If you hit someone in your car and you say, I was temporarily disabled. I was disabled. Yes. <laughs> right. Oh my god. If you, if you I, hit somebody I, I, this is... You gotta understand though, the last two are the funniest ones. Hearing, so permanent yeah. is deaf. Yeah, makes yep, sense. Yep. Temporary ear infection. Okay. Yeah, I think <laughs> even everybody right, yeah, really knows that. Situational is a bartender with multiple people talking to him. <laughs> oh my God, so, so, man. so if I get, I mean, so if I get in a... why is mobility not here? Got to say the last one now. It's the funniest. The <laughs> last one is the funniest one. Yeah. So speak. <laughs> Permanent is nonverbal. Right. Temporary is laryngitis. Mm -hmm. Situational is heavy accent. <laughs> you have to say both. They so even look this, like a. Uh, what, what does this person look like? Some, I'm it's actually like a warrior what, what is, from I another think it's time. It's like a, um, <laughs> an amalgamation of a whole bunch of different things from places that essentially aren't Europe or America. Is, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's. This is I the yeah. 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 guys. Yeah. This is this is the racist and non-racist agree thing. It's the see you are disabled if you if you can't speak English or whatever. Like what the fuck. <laughs> I just, oh my god, I don't understand well, did you know what we temporarily gain disabled? in these terms. <laughs> temporarily you are situationally dis disabled. How is it even situational <laughs> if you've got a heavy accent? Isn't that like temporary okay, or yeah, even Yeah, I was going to explain that. So <laughs> when this communicate. Out, How is that a disability? <laughs> no, here, I'll tell you. Because apparently, if, if a game has voice commands, accents can be difficult to program for, and that is actually what they're talking about. 
I'm just glad to hear that Dopinder was able to overcome his situational speaking disability in Deadpool, Deadpool 3. 2 to 3. Yeah, hell yeah. And <laughs> it's unfortunate Metal can't be with us right now because he could talk about his temporary disabledness. Uh, yeah, disabled yeah, there you go. Day. I mean, we have two I, Swedish people in chat. You know, I find it funny that everybody's saying that I'm the situationally disabled one. Nobody's saying it about Bolo or you know, <laughs> half, you people, guys in Europe. half the people are here, like everyone, but Meta would be the big one because it's like, oh, sorry. Like, that's the podcast not even how it works. Language. As from my perspective, all of you are situationally disabled. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. great. Exactly, right. you. <laughs> exactly man. From my just... point of view, the gender are disabled. <laughs> 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 from my <laughs> point of view, get this shot. Like, this is what <laughs> I find f fascinating, is Sterling's like, no, see, if you present it in the proper context, then you'll understand the point that she was making. And it's like, if you show <laughs> no, this to a it. normal person, then it's gonna think that you're nuts. Like, yeah. Dude, the person who <laughs> lost an <laughs> arm, right, being like, we understand the disability, someone who maybe had their fucking arm stuck in a blender and is healing, they're like, I'm not the same as you, but, you know, I'm fucking, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah. Then the person like holding a, rake, yeah. a baby, like, I'm like you guys, like, <laughs> fuck off. Arm. <laughs> rocking a baby back and forth with both of their fucking perfectly good arms. It's so, there, oh there, my god, man. There was a person I mean, some... at Microsoft who wrote up this document and started this entire problem. Well, and also find insane. it funny the idea that, like, appealing to, see, it's legitimate, Microsoft did it. Didn't you make videos shitting on Microsoft for any number of the decisions that <laughs> they made as a company? Why is it now legitimate because Microsoft... Because, yeah, the corporation said it, oh, so it's no. right now. Oh, I was just the thinking... The authority is Microsoft, Accessibility the settings on capitalism. I am the... Jim Sterling, who appeals to corporations to so be an authority on things. Think, think of the movement equivalent right so it's like movement permanent and it's lost both legs movement temporary they broke a leg movement situational very fat You'd be like no <laughs> you don't get to join the <laughs> oh, team I, know. I mean it feels like it's getting to the hey, point I'm big that bone, that right? if you are like if you if you sneeze while you're driving you are situationally disabled from driving because <laughs> you so drive for a second <laughs> that's true it you it's true, but that wouldn't fucking work in court. Like, like you're on a right, sneeze. Well, I, I like, think it's the the show like, goes to right, show how broken our justice system there, is. There, there are <laughs> there are ways of describing how actions that essentially distract you from a task or make it a little bit harder for you to do your task. You can mm -hmm. describe those in terms, but saying that it's a situational disability, you're just going to lose people. No, yeah, but that'd be so, it would be an explanation, so, not an excuse. Like the separating those things I'm is not, really I'm, important. I'm just talking so, about yeah. the idea of just conveying this concept to people of like, yeah, do you understand that sometimes people can be inhibited yeah. from doing stuff? It's like, yeah, but don't call yeah, it a situational be disability. Or don't call yeah, it that. Man. Just call it yeah, what it is. You're the, distracted, the word means or you have a responsibility means. that you need to attend yeah, yeah, yeah. to. I, I so also want to point out that it's not actions. It's like saying it's that quite, you're situationally it, disabled because you need to go take a shit, but you're in the middle of a okay. fight. <laughs> it feels to me like a different way of approaching winning an argument that you weren't winning before, where someone says, like, I want the pause because my fucking kid is running around. It's like, oh, well, either take care of them yourself or hire someone to take care of them. That's what you're supposed or to do. Die. And then they sit like they're, they're like annoyed like with that response. They go, you know what? I'm disabled. There. There, I said it. <laughs> so now I get protections I that are new. I also, I also want to point out that it's quite, it's quite the race to call the like game and take care of your kid. Exactly. It's, it's, also quite, it's also quite racist to, to call all like basically all foreign people disabled because they have an accent. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, that's sort of. I mean, Goger cannot play Tom like, Clancy's End War. What do you gain from framing things in this sort of context? Why why do we need these things to be included under disability in some capacity? Benefit. Basically, all uh, Scottish people, I think what's annoying all Scottish well, people are disabled. Then. Oh, we knew like, that, though. Oh, yeah. We know that, yeah. 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 I think yeah. That even the, uh, and not situationally. The, the, the temporary one, I think most people would find agreeable, right? The idea that you yeah. are temporarily, if you have an ear infection, you were temporarily, like, inhibited from being yeah, able that's to hear well. Yeah. It's like, yeah, okay. But, like, a bartender, because people are talking loudly, it makes them hard for them to focus. You're not gonna like that's yeah. You're that's not gonna distracted, not disabled. That that's you know, it's a different way. Yeah. That's also like, a part of I the don't know job. What's... Like all bartenders know that's something they're gonna have to deal with, and like oh, they go into yeah. it knowing that. It seems like something that ought to be recognized by Sterling, by her, by anybody talking about it. It's like, you lost so many people right out of the gate on something that's oh. easy, that games should probably mm -hmm. have pause buttons. Like that's easy. That's an easy oh. position to argue for. <laughs> Also, yeah, by this logic, you just, just yeah. being in a in a room that's you know has loud noises in it. Everyone is disabled in that room now because yeah. you know they're they're, they're distracted. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> 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 it's crazy. 
I don't get it. Anecdotal evidence might even be more. She didn't think this through. She definitely didn't think this through. You could honestly say, look, I have a lot of friends who are parents, and they are constantly complaining about any game that doesn't have a pause. They just won't buy them and won't play them. That's a way stronger argument than trying to yeah. bring up these yeah. guidelines that sound insane to normal people. You, you're so right, Mark. She can phrase that. She could probably phrase it in twelve different ways. That would be way more digestible. But she chose this way. That's just like what? <laughs> like why would you do this? I think I'm just going to completely impossible to engage with your argument now. Next time I park in a in a uh, disabled uh, parking spot, I'm just going to flash my bartender's <laughs> license and see if that works. <laughs> my bartender. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 <laughs> if that ever happens, I'll be like, okay, cool. I'll send it uh, Excuse me, I have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I, have I have an accent. Same. Can I park Excuse here? Excuse me, I can park here. I have an accent. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you don't play it up. You're just like, I have an accent. It doesn't sound like it. Go. Well, well, well. I'm situationally disabled. Sorry, I'm not yep. <laughs> to be fair though, Distracted. getting challenged at a handicap spot is not an uncommon occurrence. It happens to me pretty much every time I'm wearing long pants oh, and there's anyone like, who like doesn't mind confrontation. Well, that's nearby. because their sight was temporarily um, disabled by your pants. Well, no, because you can't really tell that I don't have a, a human leg on my right side if I'm wearing long pants because you can't uh, see. Do you it. take it off and like I don't shake know, it at any human legs? legs. Like here, my mean, the, uh, the thing uh, is though, like, I, I, I'm in the military, so often I'm in an army uniform, and they're like, "Oh, this soldier guy's not disabled. What the hell you doing, man? There's grandmas who park here, and then the I just army is the branch where all the like, disabled people go. Uh, what do they mean? Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> thinking about the, uh, the, um, oh, sorry, Mola, go ahead. It just just like the, the concept of having <laughs> human legs. It's like, you have human legs, and I was just... <laughs> As a dog who has no human, human leg. legs, I can't park wherever I want. You can say it the other way, you know, you can't have, like, a heart disease or something. <laughs> now, I'm just, now I'm just thinking about the Curb Your Enthusiasm one with the disabled toilet. Larry should have just said, why well, got the last of <laughs> situationally disabled, so I can't yeah. do that. There you go. I'm, dude, because uh, Boogie tries it all the time, the like I'm fat, therefore yeah. I get all the benefits oh, of disabled yeah. people. Yeah. That's why I said so, this is this is boogie logic. Come yeah, on. when you run through all of the other ones and they're like you have to move, you're like, no, fat. Like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, okay, you got me. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean I, like yeah. ultimately if the place you live will give you a parking pass for it, like I guess get one, might as well, but also yeah, a lot of people are just going to be like, wait, is your only thing that you're fat? <laughs> is your yeah, only thing? Really thing that do you, you, can do do you even have a heavy well. accent? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> Biggie, Biggie, I call him Big, Boogie Biggie can lose smalls. weight. Biggie Smalls. <laughs> I know. Biggie. Biggie 2988. Oh, maybe, maybe you need Biggie. like three of the minor weight, ones to get, to get the pass. I have a heavy accent, I'm fat, and um, I have cataracts. <laughs> Well, the, morally the, 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 I can't believe distracted driver. That, distracted in any scenario. I'm disabled temporarily. Oh, that's Jeez. an attention yeah, that's disability. Oh, you're distracted. It's like ADD. Being distracted is basically having ADD. Well, this great. So I can get out of anything. <laughs> Yes, this was very necessary to explain why Elden Ring should probably have a save uh, a well, pause button. Could could one argue this is actually hurting a lot of video? Because this is not in a lot of video, yeah. right? No, it's I, making it way no, more retarded. Uh, like, no, I, 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 I believe. Think this, I, I think, think this hurts so many things. Wait, I think Jim I added think. this. No, yeah. I'm pretty sure she puts this up in no, her well, video. No, it's about. Oh, you can tell. Video. Look at the frame. Is it? Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. This Maybe was, I just saw it on oh, Twitter. I've definitely okay, seen it. Okay, I, I agree. You're like, making her look uh, more stupid. Like this is slight spoiler, but yeah, like Sterling appeals to this as a Microsoft design thing that like this is legitimate. Like because this Microsoft is making it seem. Died. This is making it seem like she's committed to this because idea Microsoft's a good upstanding entity I, today. I like that the fucking document is named inclusive, by the way. It's just uh, fucking... <laughs> I just feel kind of bad for her to an extent, because she went after Elden Ring with this as well, and if ever there is a franchise where people are going to go out of their way to defend every single last possible oh, decision oh, oh. in terms of the vision, it's going to be Souls games. Why would you oh, say oh, that, Theo? Oh. <laughs> What's the... Pause, hmm. pause discourse is not new to Souls games. It is... No, you're right, yeah. People have been, like, quite like there's fairly entrenched defenses in terms of like no these games should not have a pause button and that's I don't think they should have a multiplayer option to be honest it's part you of the challenge man damn this it, guy it thinks possible. that friends make you temporarily disabled the weird thing yes. with Elden Ring by the way is it kind of does have a pause button there's a menu option that does actually pause the game and right I, I remember think a friend has a heavy accent some weird hidden thing Another but, consideration. Yeah, one of my co-op you... partner has a heavy accent. <laughs> can I pause that so that way I can understand what the fuck he's trying to tell me? 
<laughs> if you were to pause the game, though, it does kind of put it in. It, it kind of puts oh, so it in you can be, motion. You can be so, consciously disabled. <laughs> you know, you can use it to exploit, is what I'm saying. Like pausing isn't necessarily harmless to the game because potentially, uh, like, yeah, I, potentially, mm, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I sure. actually learned this because I had a joystick for my Super Nintendo. I think it was called like a Super Advantage, and it had a slow mode button, and all it did was like an auto fire turbo of pause. And it did like um, slow the game down to make it easier to see in, what's happening. Correct me if I'm wrong. There is a pause myth, basically. in Elden Ring, right? It's a particular item description or something. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Someone's saying there's a way to pause uh, it. Yeah. Uh, there is some diagetic pausing. I like it. All oh, right. I so think it's the really lore things. Yeah, yeah. I think there's, it's there's if you go into your menu and set a password for online gameplay, it pauses the game. Mm. I think that's what it is. It was either that I, or I think so long as you can't interact. I, I think so long as you can't interact with the game while paused, I think it's mostly fine. Like you could do that in the old uh, Myth games, for instance. You can pause the game and then move all the soldiers <clears> around and then unpause, like shit like that. So it's you know basically cheating at that point. I'm uh, I'm gonna head into the bed and then lie in the bed for like a couple of hours and then I'm gonna get out of the bed later. All right, you're okay. not gonna sleep. Enjoy. Don't be disabled for a while. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Situational. Get double points. Heavy yeah. accent. Yep. <laughs> good night, guys. Good night, sir. Thank good, you. good night. night. Well then. Back to the fringe. <laughs> Temporary disabilities. Disabled. It boilers. counts as a disability where a video game like Elden Ring is concerned. If you have a kid. No, it doesn't. If you have a two-year-old. You're trying to play Elden Ring. You can't pause. It is a situational disability that you nope. have, where the no, game. I will only take this seriously if she includes shitting as well. <laughs> I mean, don't be a, don't be a coward. Yeah, include shitting. Put say, it on the document. You, you got a big wet board. shit yeah. to take. <laughs> you you got to get out of there. You got to get going. It's the yeah, situational he, disability. He, I'm anally disabled. <laughs> <laughs> you got to no commit. Worry, now that's if you're leaking rags. I, like, look at this text here of like, yeah, see, she's right. Like, as if this changes that people could see. Still Microsoft go, oh, said it. So it's right. Yeah, this doesn't help when we've decided so that that, that graph is stupider than anything we've heard in the whole video. The graph is a joke. It's a joke. Everything about it. This also isn't <laughs> precise technical language. I was, no. was going to say, heavy accent is not precise technical language at <laughs> all. It's it's like <laughs> comically vague, like, stupid language. Like just an it's accent, temporarily yeah, disabled language, okay. is what that. it is. I just thought, imagine in Dodgeball. Like that that era of comedy, the one of the main like bad people, whoever it is, presented this as part of their company. We would like laugh at it. It would be, it would be hilariously stupid. But like no, now yeah, it's like a serious thing. Be a joke on Silicon Valley. Exactly. I'm not even kidding. Like a man having to take a shit, being pregnant. Like that's that's basically how much. Be like, nice. we account for all uh, disabilities. You lost an arm. You're blind. You're deaf. You have a heavy <laughs> accent. We got you covered. You know, it's like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You can't <laughs> you know that this ad is happening. Uh, and then you'd have a character walk up to him and say, Thank you so much for the and he's just like, I have no idea what you say, <laughs> but I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> for you to be able to pause, oh. for example. So I'm saying it rates itself. This is so it's ripe for parody, but we won't get it. Yeah. It's <laughs> for your particular <laughs> disability. Alana has been dogpiled and attacked for making what is actually a very reasonable statement. Oh no, this <laughs> image <laughs> Theo will actually if agree with. This <laughs> I love this meme. <laughs> I mean, I haven't disclosed whether or not I actually agree with the weird nerds. I think there are. <laughs> I mean, the weird nerds have a point. Non-trivial arguments in terms of this these games not needing to not have a pause button. I don't know that I agree with most of the weird nerds, because they usually weird work. Weird nerds, but... weird nerds do not have monolithic it opinions. It implies that the, uh, the weird nerds are taking the damage, but you said they're all going after her, so it's not really apt, yeah. is it? No. You're the this guy with the gun. It sounds like a beehive has been hit with a stick, rather than... Yeah, who are you yeah. in this meme, Theo? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> He's just off to the side, I watching it all happen. The 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 gun. <laughs> I think on the countertop. No, you're the gun. <laughs> If you are capable of reason. Yeah, now, Alana and I are not super close, but in the interests of disclosure, I do consider her a friend. I've known her for a long time. <laughs> We're not super close, but I consider her a friend. Like, what that, isn't oh, that a great summary of relationships online? Isn't that weird? We're not close, but we're friends. We're not friends. super close. Yeah, we're not close, but she's a friend. Like, okay, then. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of women hating chuds disproportionately yeah. dogpile on her for having Ultimate relatively vision, uncontroversial man. opinions. They don't like, like her because she's a woman. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Like the fucking fiend she is. And my 
God, people really threw their dignity out the fucking window to be upset about uh, this not one. Me, not me, me, Jim Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, are you kidding, dignity man? Dignity incarnate over here. It's just boring. Like, every time you criticize a fucking woman, it becomes sexism. Every time. Yeah, every single God, time. It doesn't woman. actually matter what the argument is. It's just built-in defense. I I take Jim Sterling talking about dignity just about as seriously as Boogie talking about dignity. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, the, the yeah, Jenny like... Nicholson thing. I remember watching that yeah. like and being genuinely surprised that there was actually a big reaction to it. And you guys are probably still getting shit for that. But you just talked about fucking stories and They're Joker around. And just around her. Like, you barely said anything about the chick. But, but she was a had woman. a girl in the thumbnail. Yeah, just, it's just it's crazy. Nobody, so, so many people rather... posted about all the men we've covered. It's like no one cares about men. <laughs> it's like, all oh, right, yeah, who yeah, yeah. cares? They probably do deserve it. I'll be forever deserve bewildered it. by the amount of time of day that internet weirdos get from Jim Sterling. Like, you, you can not talk about internet weirdos if you want. Yeah. Most people get you talk about whatever time. you want. It's your channel. How That's is your joy of having your channel? Most people see internet weirdos as beneath needing to be talked about because they are uncontroversially weird. Hmm. Hey, yeah, there's no need to bring them up at that point if they if you're their subject. If they're what they have to say is that irrelevant. But this guy constantly is half his videos being about complaining about just you know chuds and like internet weirdos not making any points of his own. Well, the closest thing we have to coherent points being made in this video so far are not even theirs. It's just from a graph and. From Alana. Look at I this class of disabled internet weirdo I have, you know, when I take offense to this. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that at least uh, Sterling content from like five, ten years ago would have had a lot of things to say about various Microsoft studies, like the I believe yeah, around the time where years. MMOs were really big. Maybe like ten years ago. I, I um I forget exactly when I had to pull up the reference, but I remember reading this really, really in-depth psychological study about the addictive qualities of MMOs and how to monetize that, basically. And uh, mm. I don't think he would be referencing that in a positive light if he was, Ooh. if that was on screen. So that makes a yeah, really the, good the, point. Can weird nerd be situational disabilities? Oh, no, it's a permanent yeah. disability. Yeah. It's yeah. a social yeah. disability, yeah. sure. There's, there's no hope for them. They'll, yeah. they'll, I'm pretty they'll sure they'll be less weird. So maybe be more accessible yeah, to weird nerds. How about that? Yeah. It's, it's no. who I truly am inside. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things that what was funniest about that chart was the idea that you have an accent, which you could have for pretty much your entire life, is just a situational disability. It's like, oh yeah, he'll stop being Scottish next week. It's fine. <laughs> the spookiest time of year and what's more suitable than EFAP celebrating with a brand new set of terrifying plushies. Introducing the EFAP Halloween plushie set. Starting with Mauler the Longpire, a terrifying monster of bloodthirst and long. This cuddly beast is both infamous and primal in his desire to drain the very soul from the world of media. And he's coming for you. But he's not alone. How could the Longpire be complete without his trusty doggo? Ragzolantern! Poised charmingly in his pumpkin, your Ragzolantern will be there to offer his support and encouragement and sarcastic commentary to all your endeavors. This gourd-adorned Shiba Inu will give your pumpkin patch a pantalooned pooch's worth of company and of course, both of these fine fiendish fellows are joined by yet another. Though his eyes may have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming, Fringy the Raven will gladly perch atop your couch, cuddly and at the ready. This Corvid ventures nowhere without his scythe, and he's more than ready to slash his way through all obstacles. But not without the final member of this cutthroat cohort. Hear the bell as it strikes the hour of the wolf. When the midnight sky is red, a beast shall emerge from the forest to plunder your local pizza parlor. Behold, the dreaded werewolf, complete with the sunken eyes of a beast who avoids the searing heat of the sun, carrying with him a slice of his latest victim. This legend of the night will surely be a fantastic addition to this crew of dark demons and pumpkin playmates. But that's not all, no sir. Have you ever left home only to worry you're leaving the members of your favorite podcast behind? Do you despair when Mauler's commentary, Fringy's laughs, Wolf's fury, or Rags' puns aren't around anymore? 
Well, anguish no longer. Now you can stay warm and cozy during those chilly autumn days while constantly explaining to everyone that no, it's, it's not electronic fapping, I swear. Introducing the official Every Frame a Pause Halloween hoodie. Perfect for lounging around indoors, shopping, long walks on the pier, weddings, baby showers, funerals, Halloween, Christmas. Complete with the expected furnishings of the season, as well as some gorgeous artwork by Black Soul Odin. The EFAP hoodie is ready to keep you warm and comfy through those winter months. There may even be a surprise guest on the back. Pick up yours today, because once the campaign ends, it'll be gone for good. And don't forget, Mola the Longpire, Rags of Lantern, Fringy the Raven, and Werewolf. Completing the EFAP Halloween set. For every item you pick up together, the discount will increase. Be sure about what you'd like before it's too late, as the spooky season will not last forever. Find them all at makeship.com forward slash shop forward slash EFAP. All links can be found in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting the show. We will see you next time. <laughs>